Hello everyone, welcome to Econometrics. I'm Sebastian Y. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and use interaction terms in Stata. I've got our CPS data set loaded up again. We're going to use this data set to predict the hourly wage of a worker. And I want to use the sex variable in this regression. If we look at our data browser, we can see that it's either going to be female or male, but that's a string, so I'm going to need to create a dummy variable. You can either make a female or a male dummy variable, doesn't matter which. I'm going to go with male today. And remember, we do this with sex double equals in quotes male. When we make a dummy variable, we always want to go to the data browser and check to make sure it worked and looks like ours is working fine. Now what I'm going to do is run a regression of wage on male and union. So union is also a dummy variable that indicates whether the person is in a union or not. We can see from these estimates that men make a higher wage than women, union workers make a higher wage than non-union workers. This model makes an implicit assumption though that the effect of union is the same for both men and women, and the effect of male versus female is the same for union and non-union. That might not be true though. We can test whether that is true with an interaction term. I'm going to generate an interaction. You can call these interactions whatever you want. I usually try to keep it simple by just smashing the names of the two variables together. So male union equals male times union. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that new variable male union into our regression. And what we see here is that we have a negative. Remember that female is our base group for sex. So for women, the effect of being in a union is about $2.8 per hour, but for men, we also have to include this. And so for the men, the union effect is only about $1. And so what this tells us is that women gain more wages from being in a union than men do. Now, if we look at the T statistic, it is a little bit low. And so it is not statistically significant at the 10% level, only about 15%, as you can see from the p-value, but it is still an interesting result, and one that is generally backed up by other research. Another thing we can do here is run a regression of wage on male and education. That's years of completed education. We can see that men are making higher wages than women, and also every year of education is adding to the wage. The implicit assumption here is that men and women gain the same amount of wage from education, but that might not be true. And so we can test that by using an interaction again. So I'm going to generate male education. Again, you can call that anything you want, male times education and add that into the regression. And we can see here that women gain about a dollar and nine cents per year of education. But for men, we could add these numbers up and get about $1.40 per year of education. This should get you started using interaction terms in regressions. That's where I'll leave it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.